Can't nobody get up in my car today. Back seat, feeling like a charter plane. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Riley back here with a short video uh, on how to get FAL and Odin Assault Rifle hip fire kills easy and fast. Now first I would like to mention that this technique works with all assault rifles, but many of them are fully automatic and have a fast rate of fire, so it's usually easier to use a laser sight instead. Now the camo we're going for is the Dragon Camo. This Dragon Camo has 10 sub variants that require 75 hip fire kills to unlock all of them. Although this may be easy with other assault rifles, it can be very difficult for the FAL because it's single fire and for the Odin because it has a very slow rate of fire. Reading the description, it only says hip fire kills with this weapon, but this also includes the underslung grenade launchers and shotguns, which are the main focus in this video because this is really how you kind of cheese it and you get fast and easy progress. I would like to put a note here that you can still technically aim down sights with these attachments by holding left trigger on Xbox and PlayStation and holding right whilst wheel. It'll kind of zoom in your screen a little bit, but these gadgets are very easy to use without ADS. Now, although there are many different variants of the grenade launcher, I would shy away from it simply for the fact that you have very little ammo and it can be inconsistent. On the other hand, the main reason for this video is the shotgun. It's called the Deputy. It starts with four rounds, and if you're close enough, it can easily get a one-hit kill. Now, with guns such as the FAL Odin and a couple other weapons uh, with very slow rate of fire and high impact, it can actually be used just as a regular attachment for close quarters engagements on certain sections of the map. As far as gameplay use, uh, the Deputy is very easy to use. Um, although it is not as... I would say overpowered and consistent as a regular shotgun such as the 725. It can get one hit kills, but it has a very, very bad fall off range. You're going to come around a corner and you're going to shoot somebody and you're going to see it does like one health, but you can also come around the corner and get an easy triple or even quad feed with it because it only takes one shot if you're super close and sometimes people don't expect it. As far as game modes, I would have to recommend Hardpoint and Domination. Both of these game modes are extremely good because you can always come from the side and flank people and catch unsuspecting campers. Currently I would recommend going into Shoot House 24-7 because it's a small three lane map that you can easily close ground on people and even camp around corners. But it is worth noting that it will not be here forever so it's possible that if you're watching this video at a later date it will be replaced by another 24-7 map playlist. Lastly, I'd like to recommend a field upgrade. The ammo box is your best bet because if you have zero rounds, it can grant you up to eight more shotgun shots, allowing you to constantly run around the map and harass people. Stopping power rounds does not work on the underslung shotgun or grenade launcher, so that's kind of out of the question. And lastly, I'd like to go ahead and mention that Scavenger does not work for this either. It is kind of buggy. Sometimes you'll run over a shotgun and it'll give you ammo like uh, a extra magazines worth, but you can't actually equip it or dequip it. It's just kind of like there and it's just kind of buggy and glitchy. I don't know if it's meant to be reloaded or if you're not supposed to be able to pick it up at all, but it is kind of buggy. So don't run Scavenger. It doesn't help at all. It's just kind of a waste of a perk slot. And that's it, guys. It was really quick and easy and painless, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'll try to find a couple more tips and tricks and maybe upload a little bit more consistently. It's been a really long time. And I don't know why, because I kind of enjoy editing videos and just doing stuff like this. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Hey.